new initiative to stop a wave of cell phone thefts. California poised to become the first state in the country to require software in all smartphones that would shut them down if they're stolen. ABC's Neil Karlinski has the story. This morning, state lawmakers are cracking down, trying to make scenes like these less frequent. Thieves ripping smartphones right out of people's hands on buses, subways, even at gunpoint on a city street. The crime is so common it even has a name, apple picking. I've defined it as a crime of convenience. If we can end the convenience, we can end the crime. But it's not just iPhones. A new study reveals smartphones of all kinds have been robbed from one in ten owners. Now a new kill switch bill is closer to becoming law in California. Approved Thursday by the state Senate, it will be the first state in the nation trying to protect people by forcing smartphone makers to preload a so-called kill switch, a way to digitally lock down a phone if it's stolen. Tech companies initially bristled at the idea of being told what to do. But this week, lawmakers say two of the biggest smartphone makers, Apple and Microsoft, at least eased their opposition. These companies don't think this is terrible technology, but once you tell them they have to do it, they suddenly think it's not such a great idea because of pressure, I believe, from their carrier partners who want to sell you replacement phones to the tune of billions of dollars a year. It's not just about the loss of a gadget. Megan Boken lost her life over her phone. She was targeted because she was talking on her smartphone. A proposed federal law is now working its way through Congress as well, trying to cut down on a wave of crime by making phones useless to anyone but the owner. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.